What's up, everybody? Easy, easy street gaming. Doing a little work on the intros. Hope you like it. I gotta stop spending money on this stuff. <clears throat> All right, so this is what we got going on today. We got a new video. Clash of Clans Builder Base. These are all attacks. Builder Hall 5. Now, for anyone anyone else in Builder Hall 5, you know that if you have max troops, like I have I have just a couple of max troops. I got the, the baby dragons are maxed, the barbarians are maxed. Almost got maxed uh, giants, got level 9 giants. That puts me up against Builder Hall 6 pretty much every attack. I don't know how these matchups are working out like this. I don't know why I'm not up against other Builder Hall 5s with max troops. But I'm thinking the reason is because it's a live matchup, so they have to kind of just take what they have going on live. So we're going to get a lot of mismatches that way. I don't know why we don't have mismatches going the good way, but I don't. So anyway, it's getting a lot harder to three-star these Builder Hall 6s. I mean, damn. Um, I, as I progress, I'm getting closer and closer to 3,000 trophies. Haven't got to 3,000 yet. I think the best I've done is like 27 and a half. Um, but we're working on it. We're getting up there, and these are like these attacks. They're getting harder and harder. And what I've noticed is, oh, also by the way, uh, got the ability, uh, got the ability on the battle machine. So we'll talk about that a little bit. So, Brags, Baby Dragons, level 10, level 5 battle machine. I mean, you think I got it going on, and I can three star. Let's not let's not um, go go astray there. I can three star. The problem is, is that they match me up against some of these bases that are super super tough. And you know, these attacks here. Yesterday, I went on a little streak, and we'll just touch up on that real quick right now. You go on these little streaks. I'm sure you guys have had it too. Uh, I'll go on these streaks where I'll win. You know five or six matches in a row and I'm just I'm not just winning I'm blowing them away I'm having five or six baby dragons left over But then I'll get matched up to these bases where I'm barely cracking into the middle before they wipe me out and I'm getting 52 53 percent uh, Now the the hero definitely helps and my suggestion to to all of you out there that are just now got your your battle machine to level five Remember, it's not like your other heroes that have a, a one-time ability. I know you know this, but but just to touch up on it. So what, what I've been doing and what seems to work is I pay very close attention to the battle machine right at first. And I'm trying to keep him away from defenses that are going to beat him up real quick right at first. So I put him on high hit point buildings. When you're attacking with baby dragons, you, you definitely want to clear out anything that's around the air mines. If you can't put the battle machine on the air mines itself, you want to clear out what's ever in front of the air mines so that, when, that way when you actually start putting the baby dragons in there, you can get them on top of that air mine ASAP. Um, you want to avoid having the first baby dragon go on top of the air mine because if it's level 3 or higher, it's going to take that baby dragon down before it, before it goes down. So you're going to waste a troop on that. What you want to do is you want to put the baby dragon as far away from the air mine as possible that still triggers it. So you want it to get triggered, but you want it to have to float quite a ways away. That gives you a little more time to put a baby dragon right on top of it. And it and at that point, you may only get one or two shots from the air mine onto that distant baby dragon before the air mine goes down. So that's the ideal right there. And then also keeping a steady eye on the battle machine and every single time that his ability is is due to pop it there's no no real need i don't see a real big need to wait on using the using the ability as long as you're not full health if you got full health you might want to hold off because you know you get a health boost every time you use the ability so you're going to kind of use the ability to bump your health up a little bit just as much as you are for the big hit so um use that ability as much as you can if you don't have anything right there in front of you, you're on a wall. Um, you, you've, you're down maybe 10% on health, and you know that when you use the ability, it's going to bump you up back to full health. But you're on a wall, and you're not, you don't, you don't, don't really want to use it on the wall. Use it anyway, because then you'll get through that wall, and that restarts the clock, and you'll be able to get the next ability that much faster. The more abilities you have, you're just adding hit points to the, to the battle machine. So just think, if you end up waiting on the ability, and you only get two abilities off, well, I don't know the exact numbers right off the top of my head. Let's say that each time you use the ability, it gives you 100 hit points. 
you get two abilities off now you're maxed out at let's say let's say you start i don't know the i don't know the numbers so sorry guys but let's say the battle machine starts off at a thousand hit points um the ability gives you another hundred you use two abilities now you got 1200 hit points for that for the battle machine for the attack or if you use it more and you get four or five abilities off now you're at 1500 hit points so i know those are made up numbers but i'm sure you get the idea the more you use the ability the better so use it as much as you can now i did i do know that on this particular video they're not all three stars um i you know i got a couple live attacks off in it and some of the live attacks didn't go for three there were still wins so i figured hey you know we'll put them out there it's hard to three star a uh, builder hall five versus builder hall six especially if the six is is well managed and and, and upgraded well uh, now also these long bases like this if you've got a long base you're getting three star all the time you have to because they're just they're, they're they're vulnerable the bases that are not vulnerable are those big you know square bases that have a, an opening on both sides up top you know they have a long wall going up the top left a long wall going down the bottom right i mean in the top right and then there's an inner square so the troops are like going up top they're going through that whole top compartment they're getting beat down by all the defenses and then by the time you get to the middle of it you have a big circle around builder hall full of of high-end defenses that that's definitely the best uh, defense that i've seen now i haven't got up to the elite elite defenses yet of these you know these upper level guys that are up four or five thousand trophies but we're, we're working on that we'll get there no rush um i you, you know I, I think i'm like everyone else when we had the new builder hall content come in it was a great opportunity for a player like me who came in long after the game had started so i just now got to 11 and you know there have been players that have been town hall 11 for a, a year or more so just getting to 11 but and being so far behind some of these other players and now we, they have a new content comes in and you can just get right up there and try to be on the leaderboard and all this other stuff but unless you're spending like buku's of money you're not going to get up on that leaderboard anytime soon because these guys i mean i think it's a combination of great players with a, with deep pockets you've got to be able to invest a little bit to stay up there on that leaderboard and you and i, I know what people are thinking why would you do that well because a lot of people up there on that leaderboard they do youtube they have content on on uh, the internet and it can make them a few pennies uh just so they they invest money in the game they get a return on it from their own personal youtube account and uh it, it makes sense for a lot of people other people just have money to burn and they they'll just burn it on their base oh well so this this attack here didn't quite get the whole the whole base 78 percent 78 percent is not is not going to win every time but it wasn't bad i ended up winning the match so now look we what i decided to do is add a couple of attacks in from the last war attack of the week he go, goes to bulldog new player in the clan been in the clan for a couple wars now he is just uh, he's nasty Wow, is he he's a good number one player? Um, he, he comes in with a slap on this one and very very patient well-designed attack on their number one base So number one versus number one. This is not uh, I'm not gonna say this is not An underdeveloped Town Hall 11. I mean it's not maxed out completely But those I believe are Max Inferno's right there in the middle and he's got plenty of defenses This is not an easy base to attack and Bulldog comes in here and then and Bulldogs his damn base So comes in from the top side and one thing that you're gonna notice is If you don't jump your way into these bases and you're relying on wall breakers on the outside Then you are risking a lot because you have to give those wall breakers some time You have to put tanks in by the time you do that I just see the I, I just see the, the bowlers drifting away from where your your target area So use that jump spot on the outer wall get all those bowlers right there in the in the core or going towards the core and then use that warden's ability now I Being a new 11 just got the warden's ability to level 5. So I just got the warden's ability I have a whole new appreciation for watching these town hall 11s and their timing on this warden's ability I average four troops in the warden's ability every time I damn use it so <laughs> these guys that are in there popping the ability and, and and they have 15 18 troops inside the ability they hit the rage they, they blow through the core of these bases and you know you're looking back on wow good timing buddy 
and you don't realize this it's, it's a skill that takes a long time it may take me an eternity because right now I'm terrible at it that's why you don't see easy as the um, on the player of the week because I'm barely barely holding water here <laughs> so as we get through this attack now also I don't know at this point I'd be a little nervous he's got one witch left he's got the warden and the queen left now he does have the ability on the queen but he's got one two three four five defenses left including uh, that back end wizard tower so that that the witch that's coming around the bottom if the timing is off that wizard tower sucks up that witch he, the witches are not good against the wizard towers they end up hitting the skeletons and the witch but he ends up getting the warden jumping over the wall got the queen shooting over the wall and at this point now, it, it goes from questionable to absolutely no doubt within a second or two. So, great addition to the clan. Finally got 50 players back in the clan. We're looking good. Um, I'm going to try to avoid the bitchy video um, after this war, but we have a, a nasty engineered clan that we're fighting against. They have Town Hall 11s down to the 20 spot, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some crap. So another attack from from my, my main account going back here. I'm kind of floated back and forth This is actually a live attack right here It's not live like now I've tried to, to record live attacks and because I'm so bad at it I've decided that I'll record them live and then do the overlay with the, with the voice the voiceover Because I can't talk it's I guess I can't walk into chew gum uh, You know I've been playing the guitar since I was a kid can't play can't play and sing can't talk and attack at the same time just typical <laughs> and this base design is this is one of the strong base designs Th this design right here it's got the two open sides the troops have all of these options to go into so there's no telling exactly where they're gonna go and as the as the troops stop breaking into the middle now you see that air bomb just bumping these troops around and don't get the whole base end up getting a 78 or 77 percent one star and that 99 percent of the time is going to be a loss but there's a victory dance for the 71 percent win like i said earlier i wanted to, i wanted to show that you know i'm not perfect by any means i i have i have got off some great attacks in the builder hall i'm really confident with the attacks in the builder hall but no matter how confident you are some of these base designs are so good that the AI, are, are, they're pulling your troops in crazy spots and you just can't, you know, it's, it's hard for me at least to do some of the things that I'd like to do. So, as we were recording for the video, Terminator jumps in the action. Another superb player, uh, originally from Ultimate Goal. Have a few videos back in the old archives on, uh, on the Too Easy Road Trip from Ultimate Goal. He was the old leader from Ultimate Goal. And he comes in here, and this was a great attack. He uses the minions, and what he does with the minions is he uses that long attack of theirs to take out key defenses. And here I am, actually interrupting my own video before I go, before I realize. Oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> so, one of my favorite attacks, and it's not just because uh, Easy was behind the wheel. This is one of my mini accounts. We were at the end of the war. And we had this very imposing Town Hall 11. Now it, it does not have the Eagle Artillery, just to say that right off the bat. But it does have it does have all the Town Hall 10 stuff. It's got, it has all the uh, all the crossbows. It's a it's a hefty base. So was trying to get the two star and had to try to do it with a Town Hall 9, which you know it's not easy to do with a Town Hall 9. Now, granted, yes, it doesn't have the Eagle Artillery. So I started off. Like I do in most attacks by completely screwing up. I put him, I put in the dragon. The I, I allowed the air defense to lock onto the dragon. Put in the balloons late. The uh, air defenses wipe the wipe the balloons. End up having to spend twice as many troops. The second one I put the haste down first. So I've seen that done a bunch of times. That is the proper way to do it. Put that haste spell down first. Put the dragon in. Get that first shot from the from the. Air defense on the dragon and then you put a couple balloons in and it will shoot over on through that hay spell take out the air defense So now at this point I've got two little areas cleaned out You see it right there on the left side of the base that top left and that bottom left hand part And at this point got a good funnel created and I'm gonna put a bunch of dragons in and they're gonna take They're gonna come in from that left hand corner put in the clan castle balloons Notice that I didn't come in with the clan castle lava hound 
They didn't use any Lava Hounds on this at all. Just because they had... This is an anti-Lava Hound base. With those air defenses in the corners like that. So, froze the back end. Inferno Tower and the back end uh, crossbow. And got the balloons coming across. Put the Rage in the core. And with a Town Hall 9. Worked over this little Town Hall 11 right here. For the 2 star. And I think I recorded this more. Because this, uh, this is a proud moment for me. Because I blow this attack way too much. Now... For for you, uh, those of you that are that are thinking about using attacks like this, if you're thinking about jumping up with a Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 9 to your Town Hall 11s, um, your your full dragons are one of your best bets. Like baby dragons, I know a lot of people from 10 attack 11s with baby dragons. If you're a nine, you can't. You just they're level two, they're not strong enough. But full dragons, they sure are. So ring base, you chip away at two little spots, get a good funnel going, put all those dra dragons in there. Make sure you have a freeze for that core. So, semi-short video, trying to keep them short. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the new graphics. Now, it's still July, so don't so don't do it to me, guys. It's still July, and the the website is almost done. Um, I, hopefully, I won't um, be divorced or dead by the time I'm done because it's just taking all of my time. But we have a really great product coming out. I'm really proud of the site. Uh, hopefully, everyone's going to enjoy it. I will make sure everyone knows once it's live. So been fun thanks everyone for staying to the end till next time it's been easy take care everybody